So, New Man United CEO Omar Barada, um, what are they, from what you have experienced um, with working in the same organisation, what do you think they're going to get with him? Um, intelligence. Incredibly intelligent guy, I will say that. Um, obviously experience in terms of what he's done at City and, and, and not just City, but all the roles that he's played at Man- in Manchester and also prior to that Barcelona. So I think in, in terms of um, probably knowledge across multiple areas of the business part of the game and more laterally, obviously, or more recently, I should say, in the uh, in the player trading space. So incredible operator in that way. What he will do is put frameworks and processes in place um, and ultimately it comes down to how well you manage situations and systems and processes and that kind of stuff. He'll do that. He's, he's exceptional at that. Um, and then I think a clear vision in terms of where they're going to go and what they're going to do. So you know, I don't want to get too much into talk about Man United because I don't know the inner workings there. But from the outside, it would appear that they've been through mul- multiple cycles since Sir Alex Ferguson. All that appear to be different in terms of the approach taken, um, the people involved, what it looks like on the pitch, the type of players they're signing. The only thing you would say at the moment, if you looked at who's on the pitch and who's off the pitch from their squad or who's on loan or who's been sold after being bought quite recently, they've probably overpaid for a lot of the talent that they've got compared to what the return on investment either on the pitch or through future sale has been. Um, That's something that Omar will look to to tighten up without a dime, it makes sense, right? Any CEO going in is that's what they're going to focus. But that's one of the things that he's been driving a lot um, from the work at City Football Group has been around player valuations and that kind of stuff, negotiations. And so he'll bring incredible intelligence when it comes to that stuff. I think it, when you look at Ineos, you just got to look at everything else that they've done. Yeah. So, including Nice, who yeah. are arguably punching above their weight um, in Liga at the moment. Uh, but then you look at all the Olympic sports and things that they've been involved in, and you know, they, they'll develop a system without a sh- without a shadow of a doubt. So Dave Brailsford has, has got a lots of history of being successful in, in international sport. So they'll have a clear idea of where they're trying to go, and they'll build a system. And now what they're in the process of doing is putting those pieces together that can bring the system to life. So yeah, I think they're going to be competitive again, put it that way.